Yeah, this is my uh, research. Oh, you're not part of it? Yeah, I'm not part of it. So is this all your research or just your, your, your pictures? That's all the research on this one. I thought we'd do we want to show them all your research or do you want to just talk through your pictures? Oh, sure, sure. Okay, we'll do the pictures. It's just to say that this is sort of what I've looked at and I thought, wow, they're amazing and everything. And then I, I, it sort of describes within it that how I didn't really manage to capture those shots when I went there. Um, so do you want to just go through just quickly? If you yeah, I'll go through it. Scroll up, up. Scroll 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 up. Do you want to just discuss that first? Then? Yeah, okay, so if you scroll up a little bit to the right, and like that, I thought that was really striking. Really. So I chose to look at two seaside photographers, to look at the whole of it, and then I picked up two people who were really distinctive. So Mars and Paul is the seaside in really bright colour. The emphasis is the colour um, and everything, and it's a little bit satirical, lots of humour in his way. And I contrasted it with another seaside photographer called Tony Ray Jones. And he did more sort of classic pictures in the 50s and 60s that make you feel, yeah, you go up a little bit, um, as a sort of capturing a time and place. It, probably accidental at the time, he used black and white, but the black and white is a real contrast, I think, to how we see the seaside now and all the sort of gaudiness and paraphernalia. By using black and white, he seems to get just the people and just the real sort of detail of what they got with them, what's the expression on their face. Yeah, they could scroll up a little bit. Okay. So it's just some more, and I just think it evokes a time gone by when I was a little girl. So I was a little girl in the 1960s on the beach, and the very simple things would be fun. I'd just see and see the things, I'm just digging in the sand. Yeah, we got a little bit. So that's what got me round to the theme of it. I love the humour in it, the fact that people wear the knotted headscarves, the coat on the beach, they're eating buses, they're made at home, there's no sophistication, and it's just a very British sort of traditional way of life. So I like that, I love the way you can compose a shot and it tells a story, which would be a dream to do as a photographer, I think. Again, that's, I can remember doing that kind of thing at the beach. They've got a dirty big dog on there, I don't know, the, Everyone joins together on the beach in deck chairs and things now. We just don't bother. So it's a, it's a way of a passing way of life. And the fact it's in black and white, I think, gives it that kind of setting time. So I thought that was lovely. And then contrasting yet, yeah, so this is a quote from I tried to show the sadness of the humour in a gentle madness that prevails in the people. And that was Tony Ray Jones, mm. black and white photographer. So gentle madness in the British at the seaside. And here's Martin Parr, who went to New Brighton, which we all know. And he called his collection The Last Resort. And he captures people doing kind of, he's being accused of being voyeuristic and cruel for looking at the working class in a kind of mocking way, like look at the kick of them. But in another way, there's real affection and humour, I think. And going to choose working class people at the seaside is kind of, um, it's great, I think, because it puts them forward to subjects with photography and focuses on what they're doing. It's very, Random, he just seems to capture a moment. It's quite messy. It's messy, sticky, all things about the seaside that I thought really say this is like a typical day out, nothing's posed, but at the same time, he manages to heighten the most mundane, ordinary thing possible and makes it like a work of art because after you get that frame, yeah, we just go down it. I love this one, this is the mad seagulls attacking the chips, which is just typical of you, Brighton, really. And he said the British be beach experience is unique. It is slightly wet or humid down a feel and past its best. Literally framed at the edges and of course full of ironies and contradictions. And I think that's what I went to the beach looking for. Because I thought there's going to be a sense of humour there, but can I get it? And then, yeah, so I put the seaside to news of loads and loads of photographers. Since Martin Park, people have been trying to take the mick a bit. And some people are doing the more traditional bit. Um, and a lot of people are just going to see if it's fading away and capture that sort of fade of glamour. And I was wondering whether there's going to be a future for seaside resorts, whether they're going to put more money into them, whether Brexit will have an effect, whether um, cleaning up the environment will have an effect, and which is just going to plastic and stuff. So that's it for the research, anyway. That's okay. good, that's brilliant. Uh, so, then. All right, then. Here's my photos, not all of which captures anything like the humour or the framing or the narrative, I have to admit. 
Uh, this is just one lone kid on the beach, and it, it didn't tell us all about that. It was just I'm afraid I got the photos together a little bit quickly at the time. But you can see the child, and um, you can see the beach, and it's just that memory of. Yeah, you took the Yeah, I, I took that. These so are all lined up. about the rule of thirds there. <laughs> Is that deliberate though? Did you deliberately want I did, to I wanted them there? to look completely isolated against, yeah. Yeah, which is just sort of makes me feel. You did use your rule of thirds and you would better be in this corner. Yeah, well I thought it was in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Mm. To me. And I'm trying to exaggerate the fact that it's. Okay, so and, and this is what I like, because you've yeah. put a bit of text explaining what you're doing. How are you working? Yeah. What, about so I chose to visit local seaside on G Brighton oh. and South Coast oh. and I was looking for is it faded, is there still a point <laughs> to it, do people still visit? So I went to South Coast on a sunny bank holiday, I went to New Brighton on a pretty grim day and I was just looking at is it still there, does it bring back any memories for me, are people still attending and this is the piece of pictures I took. So there's the the entrance and the full fun fair is still bright <coughs> in a dull world, world so what's not to light. Like. Just that side, mm. so it's standing yes. off. No, 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 that would do. Oh, that way, or that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just over, it's just over the whole. Well, I mean, if you all share your stuff on a photo, you know, get on there and let everyone see stuff properly in the dark at home, and you can see it a little bit better. But, this is a great way, what I was doing is absolutely spot on, it's excellent work. And the photographs I've seen of them are really good. You know, I don't care so this one I caught on the hop, because I saw bubbles and I turned around, where's the bubbles coming from? And the little girl, I've got two pictures of her. This is probably the most full on shot of her. The other one, she looks even more delighted. And I love the fact that it captured, there are some little kids who still think it's brilliant. It may be in the middle of South Coast, it's not Disneyland, but I'm having a great time. And she's the only one on the ride, you just didn't get it. And I just love that, so I thought I captured her just to say that it's something time, it's about children playing out. Um, this shot, again, I've got quite a few people on carousels. It's nice to see there's people, or, you know, that there are different people, different ethnicities now going to the seaside and taking it on as being part of being British. Um, and I've got lots of little carousel shots, perhaps it could be bigger. Uh, and I've put underneath that this was a ride I loved as a little girl. I was absolutely fascinated by uh, what we might call the bobby horses, like police horses, she'd say, do you want to go on the bobby horses? And I, every time, and, I, and that's all I'd do. So I wasn't great on the high ride, I was always on my favourite horse. And um, this is just to show um, signage and how those bright colours are still there and how they shout out to people and how you know where you are, you couldn't fail to spot the the seaside. Also put that there's sort of American influences and then you've got a Bavarian beer made and there's a little bit of different cultures even though it's so British. Um, I'm not trying to do food photography, but I just that you can't have the seaside without fish and chips. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I did buy two weeks actually, because I was on a day out. Uh, so that's just a bit of British tradition. Um, these shots again just said to me, shouts at South Coast and Britain, and you can't really see that much, we'll do it bigger, but it's the South Coast jet cruisers, and it hasn't changed one iota <laughs> from when I was little, and you go down to the Marine Lake, and you go, can I go on one of them boats, on one of them boats, that you've got the most, uh, dad, 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 can I go on most boats, and uh, it just seems exactly the same now as it was then. I'm not sure that's a good or a bad thing. You do know that you can click on the one in presentation and then they're going to be. Oh, right. So, and you just got to escape for it to go back. <coughs> so, and this little girl, I got down and I was like that because I saw her coming and she just seemed to be having a way all the time. And all the grown ups are sort of out of focus deliberately and everything, so I wanted to zoom in on her. And um, it was a sunny day, but she was just a, a really sunny, lovely little girl. And I was really pleased to get to see kids having fun. Um, that was great for me trying to do that with a new telephoto lens to catch people on this ride because I was thinking, oh my lord, oh, how can we do it? And I stood there for ages just, just getting into the atmosphere. The screens were unmerciful as they were on this ride. 
which I just so was unbelievable. So I wanted to capture it. It does capture it though. I mean, it, it looks like they're in a different planet, you know, it looks like they're nearly out in space. Don't forget to fill the phones in for all of the she is in for whatever it is. So, yeah, I wanted to say it was sky high and capture that sort of thing. Um, I went into one of the arcades, I probably need to be made big, I could have chosen some better ones for this maybe, sorry. Um, but I love the, the glow and the invitation of all the shiny coins. Uh, this is in, I don't know if you know, but Silcox practically owns that boat. The name is on everything, all the arcades, all the attractions owned by Silcox. Well, I went in with the camera on a strap and probably got thrown out by a bouncer. Yeah. Uh, belonging to Silcox and he said, do you not be taking photos of our stock? So I don't know what he meant by that, but he was quite, you know, Ooh. Uh, thinking that I must have been there for some other reason. Anyway, so I managed to grab that one while I uh, got a boot up the bum. Put that in the team will help me so we pass books. Ah, uh, and, and, and we can reference, you know, uh, actually asking for permission and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I didn't imagine. So it's not some other management, a management yeah. committee that somewhere or a management group that mm -hmm. if you went to them and then you did get a, you'd get the opposite. You get the guy in there walking around here, yeah, protecting you and helping you. Ah, yeah, maybe make sure I took pretty yeah. pictures. I was there to take pretty pictures, I'm sure I wasn't trying to do anything untoward. And this one's actually a machine at New Brighton. If we go like, back up to the top of it a little bit, oh, it goes like the ball show, you know? Can we make that one bigger? Please? Oh, yeah. I oh, love yeah. the fact that I stood there watching the machine uh, because my friend was actually having to go on another machine that he was a jack jackpot on. Good enough. And while I was standing there looking at it, this it showed a little picture of Elvis that said, put your money in the slot. And then it came up with a hundred percent random. And I thought I couldn't describe it better pumping <coughs> it into arcade machines. Although my friend did win. So I just like the hundred percent random thing that came up. And there's another form of placing your bets and that was really popular. I haven't put the crowds that were along the side. Um, but I love the bright colours. And there were tons of people having to go in the dark and shop and everything about the horses. Of course, all the music's going, and we should play the music at the same time. Uh, this was a couple, just the reason I put that um, head in <laughs> Pleasure Land, no wristband needed. They were right, those cars were right at the entrance of the fair, and they were totally oblivious to all the fair ground rides. They just, just so. Uh, I'm going to pick it in base, I'm sorry if that's been for you. It's not the one I made coming on. Yeah. So you might have a wish. And there just put, this brings back memories, refreshments for all of the little dog and the primary colours of the dog and his, his uh, bowl and all of that and everybody needed those that day and it was just a hot sticky day between the idea of hot sticky donuts in your hand and hard to also. Now this is New Brighton, um, and I'm just talking about the British weather and how you could set up for a day at the seaside and you might meet with this. So I thought the lifeguards and the idea of danger and threats with the sky being so threatening was quite fun. So I lay down on the sand in front of the rocks and got a few clicks at them. They were very obliging and they were smiling at the time. The lifeguards. But yeah, it's just a, a, I like the idea of it being sort of a little bit threatening. I do think that, like Martin Parr and those stuff shows, yeah, that one. Can we click on, on that, uh, the second one down? Uh, uh, no, the one okay. oh. Sorry, no, the one there. Yeah, the long thin one. <laughs> Stop at it. <laughs> um, yeah, like Martin Parr, I thought New Brighton does sort of lend itself to a bit of a, a weird scenario. It looked almost apocalyptic, I thought. Um, the sky and the colours and the the way it's kind of grim, but I kind of love it. That place and the setting of it. And it, it, it doesn't seem like <coughs> a particularly great photo. It appealed to me because of the light and that it's hardly touched at all. It just was a day of really deep clouds. Um, and there's a little of mum and a little girl at the beach and apparently doing nothing but it's the, the fresh air in a day out was just simple. Uh, and some prettier views maybe to try and make up for New Brighton being made out to look a bit rot. <laughs> um, and here just I found the, these two children, Southport Beach, playing at the end of the day alone. It was a big brother and his little sister, it was very obvious. I stood there for about 15 minutes watching them. 
and the light did change. It's slightly enhanced in, in light blue, but the light did change. Oh, it should, it should, it should, it should change. It should do the light show. I don't know if you have to click on it or something happens. Oh, do I? That's as it, yeah. Um, no. Oh, it's going to be three pictures, but I didn't want to do the other on my laptop. Mm -hmm. Nice, it's crap. Oh, <laughs> it's, um, it goes to that light, to a deeper light, to the golden arm, it goes gold. Yeah, it is changing, right? If you have, is it changing just weight? Okay. If you keep moving the cursor, you move it up or down, yeah? Keep moving it. Watch the picture, it starts to change shape. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, no, don't worry. I'll give you a little fiddle. You just do, yeah, just do a little tap down, maybe. Oh, so sorry. It might be because I have it on the full screen. Oh, it doesn't matter. You can work that one. You can work that one. Yeah, it goes into the gold now, and the silhouettes change across the thing. So that was meant to be pink, yes, to resist it doesn't work. Well, it will work, you just need to okay. film it a little bit. Yeah, and then I just put where memories are made, and I put this, that's my part, and so it's all about the memories, maybe, and hopefully they'll get some money for them to see side results, and they will. Okay, right. Um, you've all got a good idea then about what you...